introduction to homogeneous equations. If a function like f has the property that when you substitute tx and ty instead of three variables x and y, and it becomes t to power alpha f of x and y, then you're going to say that f as a function is a homogeneous function of degree alpha. Take a look at this function, f of x and y is equal to x to power 3. As you're noticing, it doesn't have any y in it. To check to see if it's a homogeneous function, we're going to plug in tx for x and ty for y. And then we're going to do algebra to simplify it as much as we can. Note that your function is x to the third, so it becomes tx to the third. Doing algebra, you get t to the third, x to the third, which is basically t cubed times f of x and y. So based on the definition, the function is a homogeneous function of degree 3. Since the exponent of t is 3, you have a homogeneous function of degree 3. Let us take a look at another example. Consider f of x and y equals to x cubed plus y cubed. We're going to claim that this is a homogeneous function of degree 3. Let's do the algebra. Wherever we see x, we're going to use dx. Wherever we see y, we're going to use ty. This becomes tx cubed plus ty cubed. We can basically factor out t to the third. You end up with x cubed plus y cubed, which is basically t cubed times f of x and y. So following the definition, you have a homogeneous function of degree 3. The degree is 3 because t has exponent 3. Now let us go over one example that is not a homogeneous function. Consider f of x and y equals to x cubed plus y cubed plus a constant like 1. Let's do the algebra. f of tx and f of ty is tx to the third plus ty to the third. And please note that you have constant 1. So there is no way you can factor out t out of all of these terms. So basically have a non-homogeneous function. So what's the use of a homogeneous function? A first order differential equation in the form mx and y dx plus nx and y dy equal to zero is said to be a homogeneous differential equation if both m and n are homogeneous functions of the same degree. In that case, we can use the substitution v equals to y over x or y equals to vx, which basically taking the differentiation dy dx equals to v plus x dv dx, and it transforms the original differential equation into a separable differential equation. So as long as you have a homogeneous first order differential equation, you can make some adjustments. You can introduce a new variable and convert that into a separable differential equation. 